everyone, so thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for uh, March the 9th uh, to the 15th. And uh, as I always ask you, if you like this reading, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. I don't mind if you do or you don't, uh, but I'm going to start your reading right now. No more of that. Right, so the first card uh, you have for your past is uh, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so obviously this man's leaving a situation and uh, he doesn't look very happy, he looks a bit mixed up, he's a bit confused, he feels like he doesn't know whether he really wants to go backwards or forwards, we can see that. And I'm actually getting love here, I'm getting um, a situation that you left. Um, oh, wow, I'm getting a lot of love here actually. A very, very deep, love you really love someone very very deeply I can really feel that um, it's it's a soul thing you love their soul I'm getting that I know that sounds a bit dramatic but I I'm just saying that that's what I'm feeling um, yeah if I don't know if this resonates this is just what I'm seeing you could see into this person's soul that's how it felt for you and you could see things in them and I, I think you could see things in them that a lot of other people couldn't see. There are a lot of people around this person and I don't think they like them or approved of them or something like that. Not a lot or maybe just some, but there were people who didn't really see in this person what you could see. And they had this kind of richness, they had this depth and you could see that, but um, other people couldn't see that. that. That's kind of how this felt to you, I think, at this time. Now, there was a lot of struggle here as well. It feels like they struggled a lot, this person. This is an ax. They struggled a lot. Lots and lots of internal struggles. Maybe they had lots of problems they were dealing with um, and people blamed them. I'm seeing that they blamed them quite a lot. Uh, they went through a lot of things and you stood up for this person. You helped and you were happy to help them. I'm seeing that you were there for this person. You wanted to be there for them. Uh, do you know what this feels like? This is this is going to sound really strange, I know, but I'll just say this. It's almost like you could see them in 5D and other people were seeing them in 2D or something. But you could see all... They could see the surface. They could see the problems. They could see all the difficult things. But you could see under this, there was all this depth. It's almost like you're looking at the sea. You're looking at the surface of the sea and they could see the surface. All they could see is this dark blue. And you could see the whole depth of the sea. You could see all the coral and the fish and the, everything was beautiful. You could see that and they couldn't see that. Um, and that's how you felt. You felt as if only you could feel that if, if this is you, if this is resonating with you. Now, obviously this is a breakup. This is an ending because um, this man's walking away. So, yeah, I, I think also you did a lot for them. You helped them. Uh, I think you might have even helped them financially at one time, maybe, because you've got the Four of Pentacles here. And, uh, yeah, this came to an end. It was very, very difficult at the end. Um, and, and when it finished, your heart was still with them, actually. You, you still loved them when this, still en when this ended. You might still... I, I don't think you want to be with them now. Maybe part of you does, maybe part of you doesn't. I think the practical side of you probably knows that you can't be with them. That, that's kind of what I'm getting. But there's still a little bit of, um, a little bit of emotion there, I think. Now, it feels like you're giving them all this help. I keep on seeing financial help, other help, uh, emotional help. Uh, it was a little bit one-sided, a little bit one-sided. Uh, and there was lots of confusion around this ending as well. I, it feels like maybe you didn't get proper closure, I'm getting that as well. It feels a little bit unfinished to me. You went through a lot. When this ended, you went through a lot, I'm seeing that. and Because, you know, this man's head's being messed with. He's got this big bandage around his head. So you're really confused. It was really difficult for you. Um, and the other thing in this card is, you know, this man's coming forwards. He's walking away. And if you look at the mountains that are behind this man, there aren't any trees there. There's no grass. It's, it, the mountains are totally barren. There's nothing there. So I think you knew, even though you had feelings for them, you knew there was nothing there. There was no growth there. And it wasn't easy. It was really difficult for you because this man's going backwards and forwards. He's looking back. He's looking forwards. He doesn't know. So that's how you felt, I think. But I think in the end, 
um, you, ha you knew you had to go, you knew you couldn't stay uh, where there wasn't any growth. Very difficult, very, very confusing. That's what I'm getting in that card. Okay, so the next card uh, you have you passed is uh, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this man, he's totally closed off, he's in his own world and I think that's probably what they were like in the end. You loved them but you couldn't be with someone who was just all in their own world, closed off to other people. Look at this man, he's totally closed off, he's hanging on to these coins, he's not sharing so maybe they didn't share themselves with you and it feels like you shared yourself with them. In the end, they weren't sharing themselves with you. I'm seeing that, like this man. Very, you know, he's holding on to everything, he's not sharing. And um, they always thought you were going to be there. They always thought you were going to be there. I'm getting that as well. So, you know, you might have said that to them. You might have said, I'll always be there for you. So I think when you left, it felt like a bit of a betrayal, actually, because you said that to them um, and then you had to leave. Um, but they weren't there for you in the end. They weren't there for you. Um, you know, you, you can't carry all the load. You can't carry everyone's load yourself. Look at this man. He's carrying all the load. He can't even move. He's got this coin on his head. You know, he can't move. You can't carry all the load. And, you know, it feels like you're carrying this great big load and you, you had a heart for them, you really did, you loved them, but I think your heart in the end was squashed under this great big load. So it wasn't easy. There's nothing easy in any of these cards in your past. If you look down this row, then none of them are easy cards. They're all very stressful. Um, but yeah, you're away from this now. Uh, it's still in your energy for some reason probably still going through the process of getting this out of your system. It's probably still in there somewhere. I, I keep on getting that. Um, yeah, there's something else here. I'm getting a uh, travel and then I'm getting a stop. So maybe uh, you have to travel to see this person and now you're not doing that. It might be that. Um, I'm seeing other people around this as well. So maybe you had to visit them as well or something or maybe there were friends of theirs that you don't see. There are people that you miss as well. Um, it feels a little bit awkward actually because I think you could talk to them if you wanted to, some of these people, but I think you'd feel awkward if you spoke to them. That's kind of what I'm getting. So, you know, it's a little bit like you're keeping yourself to yourself, um, for some people anyway. Um, you know, this man's got his back to the town. So, you know, if you feel awkward around certain people, even if you miss them, um, just follow your instincts. You don't have to talk to people if you don't want to. Um, you know, if Obviously, you don't want to completely not talk to people for no reason. You know, you might just have to say to them, you know, um, don't think I'm not talking to you. Don't think that. I just need a little bit of time for myself. I'm just getting over some things. So don't think I'm not thinking of you. I am. I'll get back to you when I can. You might have to say that to someone. But follow your instincts. Um, if, if you feel awkward or difficult or unhappy with anything you do, because you really need to protect yourself right now if you're still going through this, because I'm getting this very delicate, very fragile emotion around you. So if that's how you're feeling, protect that and protect yourself. Um, okay, so uh, the last card you have you passed is uh, the Two of Swords. Okay, so yeah, this, this can be about um, opposing sides. It can be about um, really struggling, really grappling with a decision. And uh, I think you did grapple with this decision. You had to go backwards and forwards when you left them. It was really difficult for you. This is interesting because I'm seeing a lot of isolation here. I'm getting regret here. I'm seeing regret. Big, big regrets. Big regrets. Yep, I'm seeing regrets here. Um, I think this regret's coming from this axe, actually. And I'm looking at the Four of Pentacles as well. It, it's almost like... I don't know if this is going to make sense, but it feels like they were in this little protective bubble and they couldn't see outside of that. And so they couldn't see outside of their own world, actually. And I think they saw you as part of that world. They thought you'd always be in that world. But uh, yeah, I think it's taken them a long time to realize that you're not part of that world anymore. You're not part of their world. And again, it wasn't easy for you to make this decision. Look at this, it's so difficult for this woman. She's really struggling, she doesn't want to see the reality, and in the end you had to see the reality of this. You didn't want to, but you had to. Um, and you know, I think 
you had a whole set of expectations, life expectations, and, and they were centered around this person. All these expectations you had, you were thinking, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna share it with this person. So when that changed, when you had to move on from that person, everything changed, your whole future, everything you saw in your future had to change. So it was very, very difficult for you. But yeah, they regret this. And yeah, there's a lot of isolation around them. And, and that doesn't mean they don't have people around them. I think they do have people around them. But this is how they're feeling on the inside. Yeah, really isolated, uh, really alone, alone in their feelings. Yeah, and definitely regret. I keep on seeing that. They have regrets. They have regrets. Okay, no more on that card. This is a horrible set of cards. So I'm going to go on to uh, the present which looks a lot more positive. I love these cards. So yeah, you've got the Ace of Pentacles first, fantastic. And these two cards, this and the Judgment card, um, they're absolutely fantastic cards for you, especially if you're coming out of something, if you're coming out of a breakup or something like that, trying to get over that. These are both about big life changes, and not just physical ones, but internal changes as well. And, you know, all changes um, that happen on the outside, obviously they have to start on the inside. And, you know, you've got the High Priestess here as well, which is about internal uh, spirituality and, and wisdom around that. She's a very wise woman, obviously. So, okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, um, okay, this is what I'm getting here. I hope this is going to make sense. Okay, so I'm seeing two lives. Uh, yeah, it feels like maybe you had a whole different life at one time. Not, it's not around this person in the Nine of Wands. This is a completely different thing before them, way, way, way back. So I think you had one life at one time and now you're in a different life now. So when you're in this life, it feels as if you're really on track, you're going to do a particular thing. I think this is a career thing. It's like you're on a path, a career path. And it was more than that though. You, your life was centered around this career and everything was around that. And you knew where you wanted to go. You kind of saw yourself where you wanted to be and, and you kind of really determined to get to where this was and do this thing. A very special thing, very interesting thing you were doing. So. Uh, yeah, if this is you, I think you thought you're almost there. I was like, I can see this, I can grasp this. I'm almost there, I'm heading down the road. And it looks like there was someone around you, actually, I'm not sure who this is, but I think there was someone around you at the time. And it feels like they were supportive of you, or they were showing you that they were supportive. But I don't think they're all that supportive, really. Um, it, it kind of looks like, I don't think they were deliberately trying to undermine you, but I, I'm just getting this, oh, I know what's best, I know what's best, you should do this, you should do that. And I think you had this person around you and they're kind of telling you what to do. I don't know if this was a love connection, it might have been a family member. Um, they were telling you what to do. Oh, this is what you do, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I think all that really kind of messed you up. Uh, I don't think it was, I don't know if it was deliberate, I don't think it was, but anyway, it might have been. And it really messed you up because you were like, well, this person's hanging over me. They're kind of watching me all the time, breathing down my neck. I can't breathe. I don't have freedom. I want to do this thing. And it feels like they're helping me with this. So that's a good thing. But there's something not right here. And I think you abandoned all that. I think you left that world, whole world. Uh, there might have been a belief system around that world as well. There might have been a whole religious system because you're moving out of the judgment card into the high priestess. I'm seeing that down there. So I just, I won't talk about that now. I'll get to that later. But, um, you know, it might be that you look back on that time and maybe you see a missed opportunity that you didn't take up. I think that's like, I think you look back and you think, well, if only I had have done that, I was nearly there. I could have done this thing I wanted to do. Now, I actually think you've got more opportunity now than you had then. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. That's one thing that's showing you. But, you know, the only person that's in your head now is you. The only person that's in your head now is you. So just know that you've got you now and you've got peace in your head now and you've got freedom now. That's the big thing. You can have all the opportunities in the world. You can have all the money in the world. You can have people around you helping you. But if they don't give you freedom, 
You can't really get there. You can't ever get there unless you're free. And now you are free. So what this is showing you is, if you want to do this now, you can go back and do this now. Okay, this is, I'm actually seeing, yeah. Okay, so I think you might actually be working toward this. Excuse me, my throat's a bit sore. Maybe not now, but sometime in the future, this is what I'm seeing. I think you might start working toward this again. And I really, really hope you do. I don't think it's exactly the same thing. It looks like something similar. Uh, you know, it might be in the same industry or something similar. And I think you've got even more of a chance of being successful now again, because you've got this freedom in your hand. So just remember that you've got the Ace of Pentacles. If you're looking back to something and you think I've missed my chance, I had it once, I don't have it now, I can't go back. You can go back. You can go back and you're even in a even better position now. Even if you've got no money, even if you had all this money then, now you don't. You can do this because you've got the freedom inside your head. That's what the message of that card is. So don't don't say to me, don't say to me in the comments, I can't do this. You can, there's a way to do this. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. The next card you have, your presence judgment. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about these two cards together, this and the High Priestess. Okay, so I keep on seeing these two lives. I'm seeing that again here. So you had one kind of life at one time. You've got another one now. It's completely different now. That's what I'm seeing. And it feels like uh, in your last life, you had all this protection around you. I'm not sure what kind of protection it was. Might have been family, might have been money protection that you don't have now. That's a form of protection. I've got to tell you, it feels a little bit suffocating as well. And, and I think you've moved on from that. You're following your own path. So that's really, really good. That's the right thing for you to be doing. And yeah, maybe that's why I was getting this uncomfortable feeling around uh, seeing people from your past. I was getting that in uh, the Four of Pentacles or the Nine of Wands, somewhere in your past there. Um, and uh, a very uncomfortable feeling, this difficult p feeling around seeing people. So it might be that they're these people that you're from this past life, um, you know, they might, you know, you might feel a bit horrible about seeing some of these people for some reason. You just get that feeling. Um, yeah, there's something else here because I keep on getting family here. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing here. I'm getting a mother and, and a daughter uh, and there's a difficult relationship there between these two people. Now, if you've got a difficult relationship with a parent, it doesn't have to be a mother and a daughter, it can be any kind of um, you know, uh, family relationship. What I'm getting is there's a lot of strain around this relationship, lots of problems. It's going to come into a feeling of peace soon. It's gonna come into a time of peace. Now, it might mean that you become really close. It might not. You might be friends, you might not be friends in the future. Whatever happens, it is going to feel more peaceful. So it, it's like this, yeah, it's like acceptance, it's like tolerance. You're never going to see eye to eye if this is you, but you're going to tolerate each other, you're going to accept each other, you're not going to bother each other. So there's this beautiful feeling of peace here. So I really hope that message helps someone. I hope the right person gets to hear that. Uh, it's just this beautiful wave of peace that's kind of going to come over the two of you. And you're just going to feel like, no, I'm just going to let this go now. I'm going to let it go. You know, peace really 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 nice so i really hope um i really hope the right person gets to hear that okay so the first card you have for your future is the star so yeah these are amazing cards so they get better as it goes on so you've got all these amazing cards in the present and now you've got even better ones in the future well maybe not better well just as good let's say so um really really fantastic cards i think i'll talk about all three of these together so um, this is really interesting actually because when I'm looking at the star card, you know, if you've got the high priestess and you've got the star there and they're, they're in the same reading and when you've got the two in the same reading, um, you know, sometimes they can both represent um, this sort of unobtainable woman, this woman that's kind of up on a, you know, up on a platform, everyone's looking at her, they can't quite get to her. Um, that's what this can be about sometimes. And I was getting this regret coming from this axe and I was getting isolation as well so they're isolated from you I'm getting that so you know if you look at this woman on the star card 
obviously she's beautiful and you know we're all looking at her and we're kind of admiring her and we're far away from her we're kind of far away and we're saying oh isn't she beautiful which she is so uh, I think they might be watching you maybe on social media because I've got far away now I don't want you to worry about this because I'm not getting anything creepy around this it's just like you know I wonder how they are I just want to check on how they are so every now and again they go and check on you so I'm getting that um, they have regrets so they've got that in the back of their mind all the time and um, if you're still getting this kind of emotional thing because I think you still might be in this process where you're getting over this whole thing because I'm still getting a little bit of delicacy around you delicate emotions um, you know I've, I'm getting these dual emotions here actually because on the one hand it's like I still feel a bit delicate emotionally I'm still processing all of this and then on the, on the other hand you've got this right I'm not going back I'm determined to move forward because you've got the chariot here so you've got the two things here backwards and forwards you're not going backwards and forwards to them but it's a little bit like that heart and mind that's going on it's just a process you are going to get through that I'm seeing that now if you look at the star card again and you look at the temperance card together um, yeah you can I don't need to lift it up you can see that that card so um, what these two are telling you you've got both of these cards you've got um, you've got this um, balance between the water pouring of the water and you've got the balance in those two cards so if you are feeling unbalanced emotionally these two cards are telling you that you're going to get into balance emotionally again you're going to get that back and you're going to get your confidence back because I can see this because you've got these two stars here so you've got the star card which is all about uh, hope wishes it can be about ambition and then you've got the star there and then beneath that you've got the chariot and he's got a star on his head so he's thinking about his ambition and he's pushing that forward and what I'm seeing is that's what I was seeing in the ace of pentacles this thing that you want to do and so these two cards are telling you that you can absolutely do that but you need to be determined you can absolutely do those things and that's what might start to bring that confidence back for you if you reach that goal if you go for that goal um, that's going to up your confidence as well and help you with this emotional balance so I really hope that all makes sense to you beautiful ending beautiful middle as well uh, so I'm just going to finish there uh, so cancer yeah I hope this resonated especially the ending really really beautiful um, but again if you like this reading uh, please like subscribe leave a comment if you would like to thank you so much for watching